everybody, it's Chrissy Nordock with Writing Worship. I wanted to share with you some tools and apps that would really make a big difference in your songwriting. These are things that I use in every write, and um, I think if you could have them ahead of time, get them set up on your computer and ready to go, um, that it'll help you a whole lot. So I usually have four tabs at least open on my computer as I'm writing, and these are the things that I use. Um, the first one is called rhymebrain.com. And I love a songwriter setting that they have on RhymeBrain. So I can type in a word and it'll give me rhymes um, and it'll also give me more additional information. So they also have um, an invent a word type setting, which is really fun if you wanna just experiment. Um, and then the second tab that I always have open is Google Docs. Um, some people um, go back and forth on how they feel about this, especially if you're in a co-writing situation because you can see in live time what somebody else is typing. I personally love it. I love to see what people are thinking and um, and that way we can compile all our thoughts onto one document. I would add don't delete other people's info that they've shared on there though. Um, what I usually do is I'll just move it down to what I call the basement. Move it down on your page. And then that way you still have it or they still have it if they want to use it in a different song. Um, the third tab I always have open is dictionary.com. And I love that because I can search deeper meanings of words or maybe synonyms, things like that. But I also can right on that website, click over to thesaurus.com and um, get those synonyms and things that I need. So dictionary.com. Fourth one that I always have on my computer is biblegateway.com. And um, just having scripture easily accessible and a lot of times I'll, I'll think of a verse but I won't remember the reference and I can type in a few words there and usually find what I'm looking for and many many times what I find um, from just those fragments of verses that are stuffed in my heart um, will lead us to a verse or a chorus or whatever it is that we need so use that resource as you're writing worship songs, there's nothing more potent than God's words. Um, a couple of other things on my phone that I always have handy. One is I use my notes app all the time um, to put my song ideas in. And it's very helpful and that way you'll always have it with you if you need it. Um, when you go into co-writes especially, you always want to bring ideas and that's a great place to store them. And finally, voice memos. So melodically, you don't wanna forget what you wrote down lyrically. And in that case, you can record a quick voice memo. And I love now that you can search, you can title each memo, and you can search and find those things when you walk into a co-write. Um, I have been titling all my ideas as idea something and then idea. So maybe it's um, a surrender song and I put surrender idea in the voice memo title. That way when I walk into a write, I can type in um, in the search bar of voice memos idea and it'll bring up all my ideas and then I can look through and decide if there's something that is um, worth sharing for that co-write or meant for that day. So I hope that those all help you. Um, go check all those things out. Practice pulling those things up on your computer. Make sure you have those apps on your smartphones. And um, I want to hear your songs. So upload them, please, to Song Share. And that way you'll be able to share with your church, your city, and your world. 